Hey, this is Adam Huxima from Projection Hub, and today I have an in-home healthcare uh, agency that was seeking about a $600,000 line of credit from a bank, and they had sent us uh, their kind of basic set of projections before they sent them to the bank um, just to get our, our feedback and, and look for ways to uh, help them make a case for why they needed this line of credit and, and what amount they needed. Um, and so uh, I'm going to walk through the projections that they sent to us. And then uh, at the end, I have a, a section where I kind of did my own little model and, and showed um, a cash flow model that actually helped uh, make a good case for them for why they needed a line of credit and how much exactly they were going to need. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, through that process. So this was the the model that they sent us, just a one-year uh, profit and loss uh, projection. You can see they've got their uh, their sales here, and they end up almost uh, over doubling uh, between month one of three hundred sixteen thousand up to six hundred seventy nine thousand um, by month twelve uh, for their monthly sales. Um, you can see their their big expenses are really payroll related. Uh, they've got two hundred fourteen thousand in payroll monthly payroll in month one. Uh, and it's good to see that it is um, kind of scaling with their sales. I would expect uh, payroll to to increase in proportion to their sales. Um, and workers' comp is also really tied into payroll, so that's also uh, increasing at the same basic scale um, as their sales. Um, so you can see here that um, if, if they really have all of their expenses included and, and supposedly month one is um, supposed to be their actual numbers, um, I'm a little suspect that they may be leaving out a few operating expenses here um, because this is highly profitable. This may not include paying the owners, um, uh, but uh, regardless, uh, they, they look to be uh, projected to be quite profitable. Um, so you might wonder why do they need a line of credit um, if they're so profitable? Why do they need a loan? Uh, and so I'm going to uh, walk through and show why from, yeah, they're profitable, but from a cash flow perspective, they actually do need um, some additional funding and, and we can help make that case. Um, but first, I'm just going to look through um, the other pieces of the model that, that they have provided to us. So they had these four clients and these were actual, um, actual weekly sales numbers that they had uh, been doing previously. So their projections were based on actuals um, up to date. And it was based on um, actual patients as well. So had um, 30 patients with client one um, that they provided, you know, these specific hours for in a given, um, in a given week um, of care. And so basically the way I understand they, they had four clients, but each client uh, might be, let's say, a larger hospital system or maybe the VA um, that would provide them a number of patients, not just one patient. Um, so they had kind of the four big clients that provided them uh, multiple patients over time. And so that's just a breakdown of, of those patients. Um, and then they had uh, their payroll data that um, really tied to the billable hours for patients um, to those clients. And so you can see their, their total uh, weekly salary expense. So that all feeds back into this, this profit and loss. Um, and then really what they're doing here, you can see um, they're, they're taking, um, they're, they're basically having a 10% monthly growth rate sales. Um, some months, like this month's 5%, 5%. This month doesn't grow at all. Then we're back to 10%. So um, it was a little bit strange. I'm not exactly sure if those were just mistakes or if there was some uh, more meaning <laughs> behind why it went from 5% monthly growth to no growth to 10% growth. Um, not exactly sure. Um, so let me show you kind of what I would do and, and what I helped the client do to kind of make their case for what uh, level of line of credit and why they needed a line of credit. So we've got their four clients and the monthly sales here. 
Um, I put in a, the ability to add a monthly growth rate for each individual client instead of kind of overall. Um, so you can see if it's that all clients are growing at 10% a month or just some of them or one of them. Um, so the lender can kind of see uh, where the growth is coming from and ask more questions. If all the growth is coming from maybe client four that's uh, ramping up on this new contract, that would be good to know from the lender's perspective um, instead of just um, when you just say everyone's going to grow 10% monthly, that actually seems um, quite unlikely. And so it uh, looks like you just kind of picked a number out of the year. So if you could say, actually, these are all growing at, you know, 2% a month. Um, but let's say maybe um, client four is growing at 10% a month, and that's really based on the ramp up of this new contract that we have in place. And you could, you could really explain to the lender um, the meaning behind and the reason behind the, the projected sales growth. So you have some projected monthly sales here based on that. Um, now, cash flow, this is really what we, what we need to do to make a case for uh, what kind of funding we need. So it typically takes this client 90 days after the service is provided uh, to the patient to actually be able to receive cash for, um, for the service. But they have to pay their employees every other week. And so there's this gap. There's a two and a half month gap where they're paying their employees before they're getting paid uh, for providing the service. So they need working capital of two and a half months here. So I put in two and a half months as their working capital requirement. And then their monthly expenses. And this is just taking um, this is just taking their uh, B20. So their subtotal here of all their um, expenses. We're just taking that number and we're saying we need that times two and a half. We need two and a half times our monthly expenses um, to be covered in a line of credit so that we can actually fund our operations and fund payroll really while we wait to get paid. And so they were originally asking for 600,000, which uh, does solve their problem here for this maybe first month or two. But if they hit the growth rates that they're expecting, um, by the end of the year, they need uh, $1.2 million worth of working capital. Um, so um, that 600000 really may not be enough, um, but this really helps by just doing the simple um, cash flow and kind of working capital requirement calculation. Um, they're able to show the bank very clearly why they need a certain level of capital and um, and what it would be used for and how that's going to grow over time as the company grows. So I uh, hope that was helpful for you as, as you're kind of thinking about um, seeking working capital for your business. Maybe you're in home health care business as well. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us, support at projectionhub.com. And uh, we'd be happy to take a look at your projections before you go to the bank, help you structure a line of credit or, or a loan um, uh, with your lender. Um, so, again, support at projectionhub.com, and we'd be happy to help work through it with you. Thanks.